Hello, everybody. Can you believe it? I'm here. It's happening. Happy Monday. We'll give a minute. Let everybody get on. Give me a minute to get myself together. Can we believe it's actually the last Monday of November? It's almost December. How? How? This year went fast. I don't know if it's because we had a lot of stuff. You know, we were able to like do stuff again. So I don't know if that made the year go super fast or what. Because I just feel like it flew by. Hello, hello. Waiting for everyone to get on. Um, what else is going on here? So, um, yeah, well, we have our Cyber um, Friday. Nope, Monday. Wow. Mm -hmm. You can see where my brain's at. Cyber Monday sale ends tonight. Um, we have our subscriptions on sale. We have the winter issue on sale. Um, I think we have a couple of summer issues that we're doing at a pretty deep discount. So when we're done here, go to the link in our bio, grab those. Um, and I'm super excited for the issues next year because the summer issue is my card from Stardust Wanderer Tarot. And that is my deck I've been working on forever. And it finally will be kickstarting in the spring. And the summer issue has the temperance card on it. So I'm very excited about that. Hello, hello. Oops. I almost like x that out. I was trying to weave. Why is doing that? Okay, good. All right. So another thing um, that is pretty cool is it is my two-year live anniversary totally made that word up. So I've been doing my lives here on Mondays for two years. Can you believe it? That's kind of crazy, right? So when um, I save them, you know, it tells you and I'm almost up to 100, um, 100 lives on here. So this is two years um, this week. And so that's kind of cool. Almost 100 lives. Um, I'm going to make sure to tell you when it is 100 because I don't know, it's kind of cool. So yeah, there's that. We have that going on. I hope you guys have uh, found some good sales this weekend. I didn't really, I don't know. There wasn't anything that, thank you. There wasn't anything really glaringly crazy that I wanted with the sales going on. My sister sent me stuff for my nephew. And I was like, oh, what is this? She's like, oh, it's, you know. Cyber Monday. I'm like, oh, maybe I should start doing some of that, you know, shopping. I'm just going to shuffle these cards as I'm going here. So yeah, so there's that. But ours, you definitely want to take advantage of the subscription sale because the subscription sale is limited. There's only so many slots available for that and it's a really good price. So if you guys want to get that, um, you can go to the link in our bio, grab that because it's all in the shop on the website. And like I said, my my card's in the summer issue, so that's pretty flipping cool. Not going to be upset about that. So we're going to do Tarot and Oracle today. Um, the Tarot deck that I'm using, actually, I'm going to be doing a review of it on my Stardust um, channel afterwards. Uh, it's the Zodiac Tarot from U.S. Games. And I don't, I absolutely love it. I don't I don't know what it is the art it's what it is, but there's something about this deck I just love. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish shuffling these up. So who created it? I had my oh here it is. So we have see I haven't done my walkthrough yet. Uh, Cecilia Latari and Anna Chavez. So this is with the box. And you'll see the art. It's really pretty. Um, and, and just like, it reminds me of the art that's, I'm doing a deck with Llewellyn, Enchanted Forest Felines, and it kind of reminds me of the art in my cat deck. So that's probably why I love it. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So here we go. And then the Oracle deck I'm going to use is the Eternal Seeker Oracle by Pamela Steele. So this is, um, this one's published by uh, Red Feather. And when I was at Newt's, they gave me so many decks. Oh my gosh, trying to fit it all in my luggage. 
And then I had to fit it into my husband's luggage. We were over, not too much, but we were a little over. Look at this book, it's a big book. So, eventually I'll be doing a review of this. The amount of stuff I have to review is <laughs> something. It's something, I'm telling you. I will get through it though, because it's like so much good stuff. Look at the backs of these, he's pretty. All right, folks. Let's get to it. I gotta move this. You know what? I didn't silence. Let me. See. Okay, I did have it on. Okay. I try to remember to like silence my computer and stuff because you know everybody's gonna be trying to get a hold of me right at that time, right now. All right. So Aries, it's here we go. Let's do it. All right, Aries. Oh, look at this. You got the fool. What a way to start it off, right? So Aries, um, this week, and you know, we're still kind of under the en energy of that new moon, right? What new thing are you going to start? What have you been wanting to do, but everything in your head has been holding you back? Now it's time to just kind of take that next big step and go do that thing. I take it. I'll take it. Hello, hello. All right. So we have, ooh, secret alignment. That looks serious. Let me see what I see. On here. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look, I turned right to it in the book. That was cool. Uh, let's see what it says. Um, bound by a common goal, the sacred alignment navigates the currents and eddies to travel in safety to the next destination. Your journey has begun anew. All right. So you're guided on your new destination when you take that big step. All right. That, that worked. I'll take it. Let's move on to Taurus. All right, Taurus. Taurus, we got the chariot. So what, what energy have you been resisting that's been trying to move, push you forward? I feel like it's like, you know, that things are kind of happening, you know, that ball is rolling and, but you're resisting it. And I do feel like for you right now, Taurus, it's you need to start going with the flow or the flow is going to just take you wherever it wants to go. So by kind of going ahead and stepping into that energy, you can have more control over it or else that chariot is just going to go and it's going to go however it wants to go and you're along for the ride whether you like it or not. So it's time for you, Taurus, to kind of take charge of that, step into the flow, and then you can direct it a little bit better. And so we have attachments. So with this one, I do, you know, I kind of feel like it really does go along with it because it's about releasing those attachments. Maybe that's what's holding you back or keeping you from moving forward are these weird attachments and these little things that are kind of keeping you from moving forward. So Taurus, it's time to start releasing some of that. And if you want me to pull a card for you, just let me know. All right, so Gemini. All right, Gemini. Gemini. We got the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. So I do feel that for you, it's almost like your thoughts are holding you down. And it's time to start clearing your head. And, and I think that means to prioritizing. I think it's time for you to really start prioritizing the things that are important to you, which also means it's time to sit down and really think about what's important to you because that's where you need to go. Not worrying about all this other crap going on. Just re just remembering um, where you want to go, where you want to be, and keeping focus on that and not kind of getting stuck in all this other nonsense. So, shadows. Oh, that worked out. I like to see... These cards are playing very nice together, and, and it was like such a random pull. Like, I just grabbed the, this and that, and I love when that happens. So, um, shadows. So, I do feel that, again, like those things that are not your main, are a part of your main goal. That's that shadow, right? Those shadowy things. So, I do believe that it's time for you to kind of start 
giving them a little bit of attention, but then also letting them go um, so that you can kind of move forward. All right, that works. All right, Cancers. So these cards too, and I, I told you, I, I do absolutely, that's the back of them, adore them. They are kind of, let me see, they're kind of the same size as an Oracle card, like lengthwise. So they're a little longer. So it is a little bit harder because I have small hands. So it makes it a little bit harder to shuffle, but nothing I can't deal with because a lot of the cards are too big for me anyway. But just so you know. They're a little longer. That just means I just drop cards more often. So that's your warning right there. All right, where are we? Cancers. Ooh, this is an interesting card. I like this. Queen of Pentacles. So right now for you, um, Cancers, I feel like it's time for you to kind of, you know, be that crab, you know, like dig into your little hidey hole, make it comfortable, make your space your own, nurture your space, and that will in turn nurture you. So it's kind of like extended self-care. Um, you know, if that means to going around, um, you know, maybe if you're a holiday person, decorating for the holidays, making your house cozy and comfortable and I think for you cancers that's really what the focus should be for you this week so then that brings us to the guardian so I kind of like that right because it's it kind of makes me think of like because it's like I don't know what this is oh it's just runes it's runes I feel like this is like like the crab, you know, and he kind of, he pokes his head out and just hangs out in front of his little hidey hole. Like, I feel like that's you. Like you need to guard your spaces, cleanse it. Maybe before you do, um, any rearranging, cleansing your space, um, with sound, with smoke, if that doesn't bother you, uh, opening the, the front door and the back door. That's always a big, that's always a, a good way to like clean out energy wiping down your windows and doors with, um, you know, Florida water, um, or something like that. Just kind of cleanse things. I think that would be good for you, Cancer. All right, Leo. Leo. Whoa. All right. Well, that jumped out at us. So we shall go with that. And I kind of like it because there's fire in there. See the fire at the bottom? <laughs> So, Leo is the Knight of Cups. So, oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Do you want to come clean my house too? No, I'm kidding. It's, you know, I don't know. I It's, it's kind of one of those things too. Like, I always say I'm going to leave that. That's because I live in upstate New York. I live on a mountain. So, we know that I'm going to get snowed in at some point. It's happening, right? And I'm always like, all summer, I'm like, oh, that's a winter project. That's a winter project. But then the winter comes and I'm like, hmm, well, it is a snow day. It's probably better to watch movies. I'm so bad with that. I'll get in my moods every once in a while where I just start throwing stuff out. I, sh I wish I did get those a little more often, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so anyway, Leo's Knight of Cups. So for you, I believe that, you know, your emotions may be fiery this week. And you're going to want to charge at everything and you're going to want to like let everybody know how you feel. But Leo, I think for you, it's good to make sure that you pause and you think before you speak. Don't let that emotion override everything. Like still say what you have to say, but be a little bit more uh, mindful of, you know, what's coming out. Just because honestly, Leo, then you don't want to have to deal with it on the other end because then, you know... Sometimes if you get too fiery and you say something, you can't can't quite take it back, then you got to deal with that situation. So, you know, it's all perspective. So law, the, the law, the law, it says. So, um, you know, which again, this is kind of funny because it's about like what I was just saying, like say what you have to say, but be mindful of it. So make sure you're being fair. That's it, Leo. Just be fair. It's all we're asking. All right, Virgos. Ooh, Virgo, we got the magician. 
So you know you have all the tools you need, right, within you to do what you got to do. So this card's kind of saying, this is your reminder. Like, I feel like that's what it is. I feel like this is kind of the reminder, like, hey, Virgo, you know you have all the tools you need to do what you have to do. Hi, imaginary restaurant. Um, now it's time to take advantage of it, to take advantage of those gifts, use those gifts and, and have, and have trust in them too. trust yourself. I think that's a lot of what the magician's about too, is, is really about trusting your abilities, right? We can all say, yeah, well, I'm good at this. I'm good at that. But if we don't trust it, then how good is it really? Right? So Virgo, I feel like that's what the, the, the message for you. Hello. Hello. All right. Let's see. Ooh, we got inspiration. Oh, I love that one. So let your abilities, let things you're good at be an inspiration for you or use them to inspire others. See, you guys, that's like a choose your own adventure, right? Remember those books? I used to love those books. And am I the only one that kind of looked ahead just to see what would happen? Sometimes I would and then sometimes I wouldn't. But I really did love all those books. All right, Libras. So Libra, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And for you, I feel that your Libra, um, your nurturing energy is going to really help somebody this week. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, and I, I feel like that you, somebody is going to ask you for advice and you may not feel like dealing with it, or you may be like trying to give a generic answer, but I want you to pause and I want you to know that that person really needs what you have to say. So take some time out and do that and, and kind of be very compassionate towards this person. Um, cause it, you know, and not saying that it's a bad thing or that we're, it's just life, right? We get so used to just hurry, hurry, quick, 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 quick answers, Quick this, quick that, move on to the next thing, right? So I really do think that queen of pentacles, Libra, is just kind of asking you to take a minute and be like, you know what? Somebody's asking me this for a reason, so I need to give them my attention. There you go. Let's see what card we got here. Ooh, rebirth. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so that might be the, my favorite card so far out of this one. It's this cute little dragon guy. So rebirth. So I really think that's an interesting one to get with that Queen of Pentacles too. Or uh, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Because um, by stepping back, by stepping into that nurturing energy, that also might bring something out in you that you didn't know you had either. So that I think is really an interesting kind of twist to it. My phone, I cannot tell you guys how many texts I've gotten today, like from stores. Like it's crazy. I just see them keep popping up all over the place. <laughs> all right. So that brings us to our Scorpios. Ooh, so we have the Nine of Cups. So Scorpio, I feel that you're really close to getting what you want or feeling how you want to feel. So this is like, keep going, keep doing what you're doing because it is the right decision and you're in going along the right path. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. That was just like to the point, done, done. <laughs> All right. So we got, Ooh, emergence. So Scorpio, I love that because then, you know, because you are, and then we got the other card, you know, is cups of water. We got more like water. This is kind of watery energy to me. And I do feel that, you know, by sticking to this path, doing the work, you will emerge um, how you want to and things will happen the way you want them to. So well, I like that for you, Scorpio. That was a good one. All right, we're just zipping right along. Um, those of you who joined us, um, now don't forget that we do have our Cyber Monday sales going um, until midnight Pacific time. 
So, you know, we have the subscription, which is limited. There are only so many subscriptions that go, go out per year. So take advantage of that. And it's on sale. Winter issues on sale. And then the summer issue is like super, it's like 10 bucks or something. So you can go to link our bio. Grab that. All right. Where am I? Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, we have the Eight of Swords. So what is it that is holding you back right now? Because it's not everything else going on around you, right? Like you see her, she's kind of tied up, but she's not super, it's not like super tight. Like if she wanted to get out of that, like her hands, come on, we could wiggle out of that. And I feel like for you, Sagittarius, <clears throat> excuse me, that you are holding yourself back right now. And it's time for you to kind of release that hold um, that you have. And that might be limiting thoughts. That might be bad habits. Um, so Sagittarius, I think, you know, and you know, this new moon was a Sagittarius new moon. So take advantage of that new energy, that expansiveness, right? And break free from that because it's really important for you to move forward, Sagittarius. Hey, Maya. So let's see what card we got here. Ooh, we got Magus. Look at him. I love he's like so victorious looking and he's got that fiery energy. So I'm like, this. <laughs> the first thing popped in my head was be like Magus. Like you see how he kind of has his tie to the earth. He kind of has his tie to the sky, right? And you know what, Maya? I'm so happy you are here. And yes, you know, it's a Monday after like a holiday weekend. We, I think the world should just be happy. We're all functioning right now. Like we're like here. So no worries. So I really do feel like making sure also that you are connected Sagittarius and that you're grounded so that you can start to kind of, again, break free of those chains. Capricorns. All right, Capricorns. Yes, the Capricorns are like the CEO of the Zodiac. And I say it every time because I don't know, it's true. That's why I say it. Oh, yeah. Hey, April. All right. So, oh my gosh, we got the Fool again. Wow. I don't think I've ever pulled the Fool. The fool. This is the second time I got the Fool for Aries too. So I think that's really interesting. It's kind of like beginning and towards the end. So Capricorn, I feel that for you, it's really time to start a new adventure. It's, I mean, it's really, and not, and, and of course it's going to be some sort of work thing. I do feel like if you want to create something, if you want to start a whole new situation, Capricorn, this is the time to do it. Um, again, that Sagittarius energy is all about being expansive. So how can you be expansive and step out of your comfort zone and do something new? Oh, I like that. All right, Capricorn. I'm here for that. Hello, hello. All right. Oh, we got the Traveler. Oh, this is another cool card. We got the Traveler. So, I said, saying like stepping out of your comfort zone, maybe that means you're starting something new in a different location. So, think about how that fits into whatever it is that you want to do and really um, jump into that. I like that. That was a good one. If you guys want me to draw, uh, draw a card for you too, let me know. You could put it in the little question mark bubble. I like the question mark bubble because it like holds every, it holds all the questions for me. All right, let's see. I feel like I need to shuffle here a minute. All right, Aquarius. Ooh, I like this. See, this is a good one. And it even have Sag on there. It's got that Sagittarius energy happening. So Aquarius, Wands is all about new action. So this card is saying, our Aquarius, yeah, hey, Aquarius, what are you starting new? What are you doing? It's time. I'm lighting that fire under your booty and it's time to get moving and start something new. And don't get 
so cut like I feel like I like this too because it has kind of the branches on it so like I feel like this is almost like the ideas and the thoughts like everything is where it needs to be so it's just a matter of you putting that one foot in front of the other and actually taking that step and um you know and really stepping into that emotion of the newness of the excitement because the excitement is what's going to carry you through Aquarius all right, Cardamancy and T, I'll grab you a card right after I get this oracle on. Because if I don't do it, I'll probably forget. Just saying, it's just truth. Oh, I love that. Look, attainment. So that makes sense with that with that um, Ace of Wands, you know, with attaining things. There's something that you want. The world is your oyster kind of situation we have going on, right? Um, so that is just kind of like a confirmation, I feel like, Aquarius. All right, Card of Man, C and T, let's get you a card. Oh my gosh, don't even. The Fool! <laughs> wow! Three times. Three times I pulled this card, so... All right, Card of Man, C and T, what is it? What is this new thing brewing? Is it, it could be just an idea. It could be something that you want to try that is new. But whatever this new thing is, it's time to do it. This is your card. This is like your go time card. <laughs> so I love that. Man, the fool is like all over the place right now. Let's see. All right, imaginary restaurant. I would love a card. I'm moving in a new direction with my work, and I'm anxious about how it'll be received. Oh, so you're 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 harnessing that full energy too. Him, we all are, I guess. All right, let's see what we get for you. Ooh, the King of Cups. I feel like this is just really saying like stand strong in how you feel about your work and how it and how it will be received. So putting those good thoughts out there, putting those positive um, affirmations like, yeah, you know what? Everybody's going to freaking love it. That's that's your affirmation. <laughs> Everybody's going to freaking love it. How about that? I think that's a positive card. And I think it's just standing you know, in, in that, and in that energy of like, yeah, what I do is good. This is a good idea. And this is what needs to happen for me. So I think that's really, you know, it must be, you're so right. You're so right. Hey, Amber. Why? Thank you. I know I totally made up that card and I was totally trying to figure out how I was going to spell it, but you know, I think we got the point, right? All right. So let me grab a card here for April. All right, April. Ooh, the Knight of Wands. A lot of wands today, too. The Fool and Wands are all over the place. So, April, it's time to start taking action. His armor is on fire. There's fire underneath him. It's time. There's fire element up there. Oh, look, my finger. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. Um, so I'm getting major fire vibes for you, April. It's time. It's time to take big steps to get things moving. Get on your horse and go. All right. Let's see. Maya. Oh, you're still working on that. Okay. All right. Okay, that's good that, you know, you're getting there, getting there. It's really, it's really dumb how this stuff takes so long, right, Maya? And then you had like the holiday weeks too, which they, and nobody works like the whole freaking week. And it's like, um, okay, well, you know, there are still some days that are not holiday here. If everybody just does check out. All right, so let's see, Maya, what next step do you need to take? You know, it's really, whoops, here, I gotta put my question thingy down. Um, you're very welcome. So I really do think it's making sure every T is crossed, every I is dotted, 
Um, I do feel like there may be some little bit, little things that you need to tie up. So really working on that, um, my eye, I think is what's important right now is working on tying up all those loose ends because that's going to really what kind of get thing go that get things going. And also I feel like you need to nudge, you know, if things aren't moving along, call this person, call that person, send an email, do what it is, what you have to do. But tying those loose ends and giving those little nudges will help get this really going for you. That's what I got. And then we are to Pisces. All right, Pisces. And for you that, that just joined, I know I keep saying it for those of you who've been on. I appreciate you listening to me. And because our black sale, our black Friday, no bucks, no, <laughs> never mind then, Cyber Monday. I can't get it right. I keep trying to say it, but I can't. Yeah, yeah, Maya, I really think that's the nudges are super important for you and tying up all those loose ends. And which means you might need to bug some people. So definitely start, it's time to get aggressive aggressive. I'm not a cheerleader, so I can't do that. They did want me on the cheerleading team because I'm super short, but I wasn't really too keen about being tossed up in the air because they wanted me to be that the flyer or whatever. Mm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but anyway, our Cyber Monday sales subscription sale. We have our winter issue on sale and our summer issue. Super cheap. So make sure you go and check those out. All right, so Pisces, this Eight of Cups. Oh, I love the sun. Look at his double eyes or quadruple eyes, I guess. So I feel like for you, Pisces, it's really important for you um, to kind of take a moment to appreciate how far you come, all that you've done, all that you've done for others and giving yourself a pat on the back and also go do something nice for yourself, you know? Um, yeah, it's on sale now. So you definitely want to do that. And what's cool about the subscription is that those are limited and then you don't have to worry about getting each issue. And on the summer issue is my card from my, de my deck, Stardust Wanderer Tarot, the Temperance card. So that's so exciting. So yeah, there's that too. Anyway, Pisces, yes, you need to keep, um, you need to like do something nice for yourself. I think it's time for you to just stop what you're doing and what kind of self-care can you do? Give yourself some credit, you know, look at all that you've done. Look at all of you've been through and be like, you know what? I'm pretty freaking cool. All right, Pisces, that's your affirmation. I'm throwing out affirmations for everybody. That's your affirmation for the week. All right, let's see. So... Again, we're getting Magus again. So we're going to be like Magus. But this time, again, he has kind of the energy of the emotion, um, you know, and then the sky. And then, and I think, again, it's a harnessing your emotion, but in a way that's positive, in a way that's caring for yourself, Pisces. Because you do tend to give and give and give. But now it's time for you to kind of take some of that energy, refill your cup. So that's what I got for you. Oh no, you can do replay. I forgive you, Amber. <laughs> it's all right, we're, we're at Pisces anyway, so it's fine. So if anyone else wants a card, let me know. Um, I will be back same time next week. Yay, regular schedule. Um, whoops. And, you know, make sure you are taking advantage, making also sure to... Shop small businesses too, because with small businesses, you know, these times of the year really help give all of us a boost and it really helps, um, them to carry, you know, any small business carry on through the next year and all of that. So if you want something or if you're looking for something, check out a small business first before just hopping on Amazon. Um, some of them do sell on Amazon, but also check that. Just kind of be a little bit more mindful um, because then it's really it's really important for us to support our small businesses. It's really, it's a big deal. Just like here at the Cardamancer, small business, right? We need, we and we, and we love what we do and we love bringing you this awesome magazine. So take advantage of our sales um, and make sure to share and tag 
That's always helpful too. So I think that's that. And I can't believe I, next time I see you, it'll be December, friends. It'll be December. Ah. Yes, it is a huge help, Maya. It really, it, I, I don't, you know, and I think because we get caught up in all the sales and what's, you know, and these bigger corporations obviously can do bigger sales and all of that, but the smaller ones, like you're actually feeding someone's family, you're putting their kid through dance or hockey or whatever it is. So I think just, you know, sometimes just taking that step back and remembering those things is really important. All right, friends, we are all done here. I will see you next week. Same time, same place. And thank you. And, and we're almost, like I said, we're almost to a hundred uh, lives, right? Today was, my, this week is like my two year uh, anniversary of doing lives, but we're almost to a hundred lives. I think that's kind of cool. So stick around and I'll let you know when we get there. All right. Have a great week. Bye.